Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm David Cherry and I'm a coach to founders and creators. And today I wanna to talk about three simple tips that I think can drastically improve your copywriting ability in business communication. Now, these are things that I see common mistakes founders make when they're trying to communicate over written text, whether it's an email or a blog post or a company vision document. These are three things that are gonna make it a bit easier for you to connect with and resonate with the people that you're trying to communicate your message to. So I'm gonna jump into just three things. These are, you know, there's so many different copywriting tips, but these are the things that I find to be most valuable that you can take action on, honestly, even this afternoon, that could make a drastic difference in your writing ability. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is get more specific in your writing. The biggest mistake that people make is being too vague when they're trying to communicate a message or an idea. Now, when you're trying to write a job description, for example, you might say, hey, we're looking for a marketing assistant who can join us part-time. That sentence doesn't really give us very much insight into what it is that you're actually looking for. And because of that, the people who might be looking to receive that message to potentially apply to the position that you have aren't gonna really pick up on that being the right fit for them specifically. So a better sentence would be, instead of saying we're looking for a junior marketing assistant for a part-time hire, it might say, we are a remote company of 10 people based in New York City, working in the FinTech industry, looking for a junior marketing assistant who has three years experience with TikTok and Instagram because we're looking to run our first campaigns on those two platforms and we want someone who is just out of school who can help us with this strategy. All of those extra ideas, all those words, TikTok, out of, just out of school, based in New York, these are all signifier words that help make what you're trying to communicate more specific and it will bring to the attention of the person you're trying to reach much more quickly. So if I'm someone who's scrolling through Twitter and I see someone saying, hey, we're looking for a junior marketing assistant, apply here. I might keep scrolling, even if I'm someone who's in that field looking for that type of job. But if I'm someone who happens to be in New York, who likes FinTech, who is just out of school, who specializes in TikTok and Instagram, suddenly my ears are perked because I see that you're trying to communicate specifically with me. So the first tip is whatever language you're using, read back through the paragraph you've written and make it more specific. Take any vagueness out of it, anything that could be vague or just uh, there's a, a copywriter who uses the word soggy, anything that just isn't very specific, you wanna make it as specific and detailed and individualized as possible and that will help you resonate with your audience. The same goes for blog writing. If you're trying to communicate with a certain demographic, they will pick up what you're putting down much more easily if you are super specific in your communication. Now, the second tip that I can get to is answering the question, what is the point? Very frequently, we get to writing an email, we get to writing a blog post, and we lose ourselves in unnecessary detail and just frankly ideas that don't actually communicate the direct point we're trying to make. It might take the reader a long time of an email to say, well, what are they actually asking for? What, what is the point that they're trying to make? You know, so what? So after you've written something, not only are you gonna make it more specific, so look for some vague words and how to crisp that up. The second thing you wanna do is make sure the question is answered, so what? So what is the point? So what is this even about? The point about this video is that I wanna help you communicate better through three simple tips, and the first two are getting more specific and answering the question, so what? You wanna just get to the point, say it, when in doubt, Try and remove as much content from your email, your blog post, et cetera, as possible, and just get to the point. Just get to the thing that that person's looking for. Just tell them, my next step that I'm asking you for is this. What I would like you to do from here is blank. You can provide what someone can take away from this blog post and also what the next step could be, and that will help them on their way. So always try to answer the question, so what, or the point is, and you can even directly say that in your text. So that's tip number two, get to the point and make sure there is a clear point because frankly, I see it all the time where there's a super long email and it's like, what am I even reading? And what is actually important about this? So highlight that for your reader, for them to pick up on more. Now, the third thing is a, an interesting tip that I picked up from a writing course that I watched on YouTube, which is be contrarian. When we are reading something, it's really easy to start skipping ahead. It's really easy to start 
trying to skim through to look for the important information. And there's a few words that help people signal, hey, here is the interesting information. And those words are however, but, or instead. These create a bit of a plot twist in your reading. We were working on a marketing campaign and we thought that we were gonna focus on Instagram until we realized or, but we then noticed or however something happened and that changed where we went with the marketing campaign that we wanted to run with. These words that challenge the reader that say, hey, something is about to be different, something is unexpected, they create a bit of an alertness in the person who's reading what you're writing and it helps them tone, tune into, back to the previous point, what the actual point is gonna be. So if you're just saying something that people always believe, it's kind of boring, it's bland, we don't wanna really read it. But if you're saying something that challenges what the reader is expecting, they're gonna pay more attention to what it is that you're writing. So anytime you can, you know, you can start by establishing what the status quo is for an industry, for what you're writing about, and then challenge that status quo and use these turning point phrases like however, but, until, and that will help the reader understand, hey, here's some important information that I might not have expected that now I must pay attention to, and it'll just help them follow along and uh, follow through with actually reading and understanding what it is that you're trying to communicate. So those are the three tips for you today. Get as specific as possible, read back through your paragraphs and ask yourself, hey, what is the point? Am I actually making it? and make sure to be a bit contrarian, make sure to add in a but or however or until, and the reader will perk up and understand, hey, there's some information here that might be interesting for me to actually pay attention to. So that's what I have for you today. My last little bit of advice is there's a really great PDF called the One Sentence Persuasion Book. It is very interesting. Uh, it literally is one sentence that teaches you how to be persuasive or more persuasive in your writing. I'm not gonna give away what that one sentence is because it's part of the effect. It's part of the fun of reading that for the first time. I believe the author's name is Blair Warren. So just search on Google for the one sentence persuasion book by Blair Warren. I think it's a PDF. You can probably get it for free, but that is also a very interesting sentence that you can keep in the back of your mind as you try and write copy that is more persuasive. So I hope today's video was just three actionable things that you could take with you today to be more persuasive in your copywriting, in your business writing, when you're communicating over email. And as always, we'll be back again very soon. Later.